Hey, my name is Chris Hines. Um, I'm one of the partners here at Grupetto. Uh, Grupetto is a uh, almost a continuation of the old Domestique Cafe in the sense that it's uh, we've got two of the three going so far: beer, bikes, coffee. Well, we've got the bikes and coffee, and we're working on the beer. Um, Grupetto is a is a bit of a not a play on words, but a little bit of a bone mold. The domestiques always end off in the Gruppetto in a cycling race. Uh, Gruppetto means small group in Italian, and there's always, especially in multi-stage uh, bike races like the Tour de France, the Giro d'Italia, um, you always end up with the people that are no longer racing but are still in the race, and they end up coming off the back of the race into an ever larger group, and all they have to do is get to the finish line without being cut. So. Um, the group Petto itself is a pretty, um, it's a place where all the team members, everyone from every different team, they all work together, uh, which is a good vibe, I think. It's a good, uh, good thing to try and emulate. Everyone's working towards the same goal, regardless of what jersey they're wearing. Um, and, uh, and it also made for us being called the G-Spot, which was funny in and of itself, too. So The riding's tough in Toronto, in downtown Toronto. Um, and Dundas was always on the radar because uh, there was a lot of history here. There was a, a place called Maple Cyclery that was the first place to import Cannondales, the Cannondale bicycles, which everyone knows now. Um, first place in Canada to bring them in was right here in Dundas. So I knew about them as far back as 1990 when they were, you know, getting specialty work done uh, in Toronto at a place I worked at. So it was like, oh, Dundas. And then, of course, Claire Hughes, when she was uh, working with Merrick Mazur, who's a coach who still lives here in town, um, so he was working out of Dundas, and he was, you know, Dee Dee Demet and Michael Berry and Mark Walters, and like, you know, the list goes on and on and on of, of uh, you know, some of the best Canadian cyclists in the last you know, couple of decades. And also, his own son was, you know, world champion, uh, and he was doing that all out of Dundas. And we still had, you know, we had uh, national championships in the 90s that were in Hamilton. Hamilton had, uh, you know, guys like Gary Scatalon had brought over. Uh, international quality racers from Europe for races. And there's just like a lot of sort of bubbling along. Hamilton Cycling Club is one of the oldest, or the oldest cycling club in Canada, I think. One of the oldest in North America. Um, so there's a lot of stuff that here. Plus, like you say, the, uh, the relations between mountain bikers and the conservation authorities are, are getting better and better. We have Christie Lake Trails, we have Dundas Valley. If you just want to go and go up and down what's now called Clara's Climb, you know, down right in the center. Plus, it's um, it's about a it's about 100k to come from. You can do. We're a great midpoint for a long ride, either from Hamilton or from, or sorry, uh, London or Buffalo or Toronto or, you know, there's there's about seven million people within an hour's drive. So this is, you know, it's a great place to come to, stop, have a coffee, have a you know, have a bit of something to nosh, and then go back on your way. But if you want to do a 100k mountain bike ride, you can do it from here in Dundas and never be more than like 20k away. So it's, it's, it is, it's a pretty unique place and um, you know, that's why I love Dundas.